Welcome to Mixing Studies. In this video, we review the lupus anticoagulant panel. We have the following take home points. Lupus anticoagulants are antibodies that recognize and bind phospholipids. Lupus anticoagulants prolong phospholipid dependent tests and do not correct with mix. Lupus anticoagulants disappear with excess phospholipids. Lupus anticoagulants are antibodies that act against phospholipids. Recall our concept map of the coagulation cascade. Key coagulation steps occur in the presence of phospholipids, which come from the platelet, and the platelet is covered in phospholipids. For unclear reasons, certain antiphospholipid antibodies develop that recognize and bind the phospholipids and clear them from the circulation. Examples of these antibodies include anticardiolipin and anti-beta-2 glycoprotein-1 antibodies. These antibodies impair the balance of anticoagulants and procoagulants, leading to increased thrombosis risk. The effect of a lupus anticoagulant is to prolong phospholipid-dependent tests, act like an inhibitor on mixing studies, and disappear when exposed to excess phospholipids. To test for the presence of a lupus anticoagulant, we use a lupus anticoagulant panel made up of two or more phospholipid-dependent tests, such as the APTT or the DRVVT, one or more mixing studies, such as the APTT mix or the DRVVT mix, and a confirmatory test with excess phospholipids, such as the DRVVT confirm, the hexagonal phase phospholipid assay, or the platelet neutralization procedure. Based on ISTH guidelines, we need at least two phospholipid-dependent screening tests. Each test must demonstrate that the clotting time is prolonged. We need at least one mixing study that shows that an inhibitor is present, and at least one confirmatory test showing that the clotting time corrects with excess phospholipids. So step one is to have two phospholipid-dependent screening tests that are prolonged. Typically, both the APTT and the DRVVT is prolonged. If they are negative and the index of suspicion is high, other screening tests could be performed. Next, you need a mixing study that shows an inhibitor is present. The one-to-one -one mix of control plasma with the patient plasma does not correct because of excess antiphospholipid antibodies, so the APTT or DRVVT remains prolonged. Next, you check that the clotting test corrects with excess phospholipids. The excess phospholipids take up all the antibody binding sites. Clotting proceeds as usual, and the DRVVT corrects. If the confirmatory DRVVT is negative, other more sensitive confirmatory tests can be performed. In summary, lupus anticoagulants are antibodies that recognize and bind phospholipids. Lupus anticoagulants prolong phospholipid-dependent tests and do not correct with mix. The effects of lupus anticoagulants disappear with excess phospholipids. That ends our video, Mixing Studies, the Lupus Anticoagulant Panel.